Good day. Good day. Welcome to my channel. I am trading with Timothy Sykes. I'm a challenge student. Um, I've been learning for, uh, this is <clears throat> my sixth month, sixth month learning with Tim. I want to be the first trader in the world um, to go from a losing trader to a profitable trader, possibly even a millionaire, documenting every single trade on YouTube and then documenting my entire journey on YouTube. Since I've been on the challenge, um, my philosophy on trading has completely changed. What helps is the uh, markets um, are putting in their worst performances since 2008, dropping, dropping, dropping. My account first trade who has terrible customer service and will not give me shorting, so I'm saving up 10k to move to interactive brokers. But uh, recently, it's uh, I've switched my philosophy. It's all about uh, studying now. Um, and Tim said something in the webinar the other day, like he used to study 16 hours a day. Um, I can't do that because of financial commitments, but on the weekends I certainly can, and, and that's what I've kind of been doing, just just isolating myself. Um, and it's uh, it's just me and Sarah. Sarah, um, she breathes. Um, Carbon dioxide. She breathes in carbon dioxide and breathes out oxygen, and and I'm breathing in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. So that's all I need. I need to learn stocks for 16 hours a day, not 16, but maybe 10, 12, whatever the entire day. And and me and Sarah live off each other because she gives me what I need, and I give her what she needs, and I don't give her enough water. I don't give her enough water. It's just fucking dying. And I look at her all day and she's dying. But anyway, um, the month's been difficult. It's not been the best week. I'll recap on the trades here. Um, I just want to get to a couple of things first. Um, a guy yesterday was like, um, he was like, you're a, you're a, you're trying to be a guru, and I'm like, I am not trying to be a guru. He's like, you're trying to teach people, and you're losing yourself. And I'm like, dude, I'm not a fucking guru. Like, I've, how many times do I have to say like, I mean, like, I look like Yogi Bear right now. Like, this beard is like Yogi Bear, but. I'm not like the fucking cool yogi bear. I'm like a fucking degenerate, gambling, losing yogi bear who spends too much time in his room now because he's trying to improve at something. But but it's all going to be worth it because in 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 maybe a couple of years, I'm going to be like Barack Obama in 2004 when he whooped John McCain's ass to be the president of the United States. Like That's what I'm going to feel like when I'm like, hope in the face of difficulty, hope in the face of uncertainty. He's like, e pluribus en unum, out of many, one, and like preaching all that shit. I'm going to be preaching that shit to you guys. But not democratic, I don't get into politics. And, and sorry, this is a random rant, and I'm going to get the stocks. But uh, I'm not Irish either, okay? I'm not Irish. Um, I, I wore the Newcastle top because you guys on Tim's chat room and that are all like, oh, the Cubs, I'm watching the Cubs tonight. Or like, Ray Allen's such a cool basketballer. Read his blog. I've wrote a blog. I'll link it below. I let it to my phone myself six months ago. Some amazing tips. Um, check go on stephenjohnsonstocks.com. The, the article is there. But I'm from Newcastle, and I'm and I'm, a, I'm a soccer fan, as you guys, you, you Americans say. Um, I'm not Irish. Irish people, like, I've got an Irish guy at work, and, like, we sell social media, and it's like, um, oh, um, like, this piece of, this work, this content, it'll be a thousand, thousand dirhams, but, like, he's, like, He's like, ah, 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 no, you don't have, don't give me, don't give me a thousand dirhams. Don't give me a thousand dirhams. Just, just pay me in potatoes. Just give me 33 potatoes. I'll just have a potato. Don't pay me in dirhams. Give me a potato. It's kind of like that. But anyway, like, let's get to the stocks. Two plays uh, this, this week, uh, SKLN. I uh, watched it and I missed the play and I should have took profit and I, and I didn't. Uh, and T-R-U-E, true. Too good to be true. Um, this was a, a an earnings winner and um, it was a multi-year breakout and it just didn't break out. Um, don't worry guys, I'm not uh, blown up or anything. I'm playing with a 4K balance because commissions are killing us. Like you need to play a couple of thousand to trade off. You just lose because of commissions. Like I lost because of commissions last night. But uh, I will be... Um, so the losses look a bit more, but... Um, it's just because I'm playing with a bit higher stakes, and if I go down more than 500 this month, I'm just going to stop for the month. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a terrible start of the month, um, but it's just just because I'm playing with a bit higher stakes. Hopefully next week will be better. Um, yeah, guys, like a, a couple, like two people out randomly signed up to Tim's um, Tim services through the affiliate program. Being an affiliate isn't bad. If if I'm a member of something, and I recommend you to be a member of something. I'm not the fucking devil. So please, if you want to use Tim services, go below. 
I'm on the challenge now. I've been, it's like so much content, webinars, videos, loads of DVDs. I'm watching Penny Stacking Framework right now. It's brilliant. Um, and I, yeah, I'm losing, but I, I, my understanding of the market, like everything clicked and I thought I understood everything after I tried a trade checklist. And then I realized I had this other whole wave of everything clicking again now where I'm learning all new stuff. And this will probably happen a few more times and maybe I won't be profitable for a year. Maybe it's another six months before I even get profitable. Like, but I don't care because I'm having a good time and that's, that's the most important thing. Like, and I'm not losing tons of money. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, and yeah, I just want to say, um, Merton, Tim Lee, uh, Carl, Lloyd, like, <laughs> Lloyd has his own YouTube channel. What up, Lloyd? Um, he trades options. Like, I think that's an even bigger risk of blowing up. But if you want to chance that, go follow his YouTube channel. He'll probably comment below. Um, Tim's trading challenge is awesome. Um, he has how my performance has been recently. It's not very good, but I'm learning. Like, don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, I was like, sorry, I'm a bit rough. Like I was dancing with a plant last night. Um, and if you don't believe this, you think I make this shit up. I don't like, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put the clip at the end of the video. Um, to say, you know, follow me on Snapchat, check out stephenjohnsonstocks.com. There's a lot of blog content on there, a lot of written content, which is cool. Um, I'm Snapchat 1987, junk87. Follow me on profit.ly to see me lose statistically. And, uh, here's the trades. Ay, 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 this fucking market, honestly. Uh, SKLN, no, I do not blame the market for this at all. Uh, this is me being ridiculous, but the, the next trade that I record, you'll see. Uh, but SKLN, uh, it was up on earnings. Uh, it doesn't really have much of a history as a chart. Uh, it did nothing, and then it's obviously spiked. Um, and uh, this was its kind of its, its first day on earnings here. Friend line, nice, nice move, nice move. Um, and I watched this. I kind of watched this uh, increase, and I was gonna buy. I was actually gonna buy in in the evening, like because uh, it's like eleven o'clock my time. I was like, ah, oh, should I buy this for the market close? Didn't. Got a bit disappointed. Um, and then I was like, and then I was like, don't, don't. It's risky. It's not a great company. Um, and it nearly went broke under a dollar a share the last time. Don't buy it. And then the next night, I was like, oh, fuck, if I'd bought it, I, I could have got to move from the twos to the fours. <laughs> I was like, ah! And um, and then I got in in the afternoon. Like, then the next day, I was like, fuck it, I'm buying this afternoon. I'm going to buy it this afternoon. And I actually bought it um, thinking I'd get a bounce here. And it was just a bad play. Uh, don't buy it when it's up too much. Don't buy it at one o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect time for an afternoon fade. It's a junky company anyway. Um, it was just a bad play and, and I paid for it and uh, the market's really down anyway. Um, and I just hope to fucking God I don't make this mistake again. I think I've made this mistake about twice, buying a stock in the afternoon, trying to dip buy stocks in the afternoon, two, three times max, but did it a couple of times um, when I was first learning and I didn't know any better, but I haven't done it for a few, two, three months and then like it was just a dumb thing to do, but it was off the influence of seeing it spike yesterday. I don't mind buying it into the close. I mean, not anymore because it's a few days after its earnings report and it's already starting to drop and look a bit weak here. Yeah. But like, I don't even mind this, but not, not this, not one o'clock. 3.30, fine, but not one o'clock. Okay, okay. Let's just delete these lines. Okay, okay. Like, I am losing faith with fucking humanity right now. Um, not humanity, but just <laughs> the fucking stock market. Like, um, I don't like a lot of the time when I make mistakes or I lose money on trading, I know always why I've lost and I can see it in hindsight. Um, but with this one, it's, uh, the stocks moved up. It's a, uh, it's a multi-year fucking breakout. Um, they've just released earnings and appointed, um, a new board of directors, which I, I don't really give a shit about, but the the markets responded positively to the news. Um, the stock is at, on its multi-year breakout. Um, and then I was like, I was watching it, I was watching it. And I was like, look, this looks like it's a way it is. Because I was like, will it wash out? Because it's up a lot. And and then as it kind of broke the, it, it, like, this is the multi-year breakout level at 11. As it broke at 11.10, I bought in at this candle. 
the highest high of the day and then it immediately washed out I'm like fuck so I obviously just got out but it was a couple of thousand dollar position so it's even even losing like 10 cents a share on a ten dollar stock is like 70 bucks um, on a couple of thousand dollar position and then it, it washed out more so I'm glad I got out it looks like it's coming back a bit now it's probably gonna retest its highs but I was buying it for the the a morning grind a morning spike um, on on the good news and on the multi-year breakout but it didn't it just fucking faked out and uh, I'm disappointed like and I've got you like I don't know like I don't know like it wouldn't be that bad if I didn't fuck up SKLN um, it would just be a seventy dollar loss and whatever um, and the last one was my fault but just move on next week keep on learning and that's it that's it I mean not not totally interesting. Um, what's probably more interesting is that you've watched me hair dry. I was in the shower before the video because I like to be clean for you guys. And you've watched me hair consistently get drier and drier and drier throughout the video. It's probably more interesting. But um, guys, like, in all seriousness, the darkest hour comes before the brightest new dawn. And, um, and when the market turns, I'm going to be ready to take profits. And when the patterns form... I'm going to be ready to take profits and um, and right now it's all learning it's preparing and I'm fucking getting pretty fucking prepared and um, and time is the only resource like I, I could spit loads of quotes time is the only resource that you've got to use the minute you get it so use it well and use it to study which is what I'm doing and um, and you make your own look in this world and luck favors the brave and I'm fucking brave right now so enjoy i'm loving it more than ever um like I, and honestly guys like if you if you guys are just learning like fuck man it's so much work and you've got to do it like and don't stop like i've been doing a couple of hours for every every day pretty much an hour to two hours every day for six months you need to do like and now i'm doing like five and ten hours a day on the weekends because this is what you need to do like this is it and, and i keep on learning 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 and I knew I wasn't there and I was thinking this is too good to be true, I can't know everything. But now it's starting to feel like a bit like a job and it's starting to feel like I've kind of got a bit of knowledge on this area. So I think I'll I think I'll uh, I think I'll be there soon. And I'm looking forward to the next few months. Peace out guys, Stephen Johnson Stocks.com, profit.ly junk87, Snapchat junk1987. Comment below, let us know your thoughts on the video, let us know your, your thoughts on the trades, and just fucking stay cool. Thanks for the support. It's awesome.